All right, for our last MUI lab component, we're going to learn about the masonry component. The masonry component maintains a list of content blocks with a consistent width but different height. The contents are ordered by row. If a row is already filled with the specified number of columns, the next item starts another row and it is added to the shortest column in order to optimize the use of space. Earlier in the series, we already had a look at the image list component, which can render the masonry layout for images. In this video, let's take a look at content in general and specifically images. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI masonry.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the box component and use it instead of the div tag. On this box, I'm going to set sx is equal to width 500, min height 400. For the masonry layout, we import the masonry component from MUI lab. Import it at the top. For content of varying height, I'm going to copy paste an array of different numbers. So heights is an array of 15 items. Now for the JSX, we invoke the masonry component. We set four columns with the spacing of eight pixels between each item. Within this component, we iterate over the heights array. So curly braces, heights.map accepts a function which receives the individual height and index. For each item, we are going to return the paper component from material UI with a few styles applied. So at the top, import paper from core material library. And now in the arrow function, paper, and on this paper component, set key is equal to index. Let's also add some styles. Display, flex, justify content, center, align items, center, we set height equal to the height that has been passed into the function as an argument. And finally, border one pixel solid. For the text content, specify index plus one. If you now include this component in app component, and take a look at the browser, we see the masonry layout in action. Based on the height of the content, they are automatically placed in the appropriate column. Now it's possible to handle items with varying heights as well. Let me show that to you with an accordion component. At the top, import accordion, accordion summary, accordion details, and typography from the core library. Next, on the paper component, comment out all styles except the border. For the paper child itself, we will now replace with an accordion. Accordion, SX, we set min height is equal to the height element in each iteration. And within the accordion component, accordion summary, and accordion details. For the summary, we invoke typography with the text accordion index plus one, and the accordion details will be the text content. We can also import the expand more icon, and on accordion summary, Expand icon is equal to the expand more icon. If we now take a look at the browser, we can see the masonry layout with accordions. 
If we start expanding a few of these items, the content automatically rearranges by adding an item to the shortest column. It will do so in order to optimize the use of space. Now the masonry layout is primarily used with images to showcase a gallery, but you can always use it with any content that seems fit for you. All right, with that, we have covered almost every major component in Material UI. We have two more topics to cover, so let's learn about them next. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.